What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon ADC, and today I have kind of a new type of video for the channel, but hopefully one that I'm going to be doing more often. Today's video is on seven Hank brands to be aware of, but hopefully we'll do some videos in the future centered around different types of products, things like pry bars, pens, patches, pouches, pocket jewelry, that's a lot of peas, but I'm sure there's some other, other categories out there that I can include. But really, I just spend a lot of time researching and looking for different products, and so I thought it would be helpful to share the products that I have from those categories, and then hopefully down in the comments, people will post the ones that I'm missing or that they think you should be aware of, so it kind of, can kind of act as a resource if you're shopping for Hanks and want to, want to find a new maker, you maybe stick to one brand, this will give you some kind of insight into some other makers and some samples of their products. So I'm going to go ahead and dive in. First one I'm going to start off with is obvious if you watch the channel. I do the Hank of the Month Club and that's the Gondek EDC. They also sell Hanks outside of the Hank of the Month Club and so this is one of them. Does this Hank smell like chloroform to you? Just kind of a funny one. And then another is this Frankenstein's Monster or Hankenstein, whatever you want to call it. But I'm just going to show one or two from each each category, maybe three, because I have a lot of some of these. In fact, Gone Deck EDC, I probably have the most, followed by the next one, Awesome Hank Gear. But some of them I only have one or two, some of them I have a ton of. I probably have about 30 Gone Deck EDC Hanks, maybe more at this point. But these are a sample of them. What I like about Gone Deck EDC is that they're only $10, so they're super budget friendly, super accessible to anyone, and they do a wide range of different designs. They have stuff like this, which is kind of pop culture-y, some funny ones, they have some EDC related ones, and nerdy ones with video game stuff, and just all kinds of different things, and so there's a lot of variety and they put out a lot of hanks, they usually have a decent stock of them, so they're not going to sell out super fast, and they're a good size. They're about 7.5 by 7.5, I believe. Have a nice kind of consistent tag here. Really simple stitching, just kind of straight across. But for only $10, they're a great deal, and again, very accessible. So next up, I have Awesome Hank Gear, and this is probably the one I have the second most of. I think I just mentioned that, but really enjoy these ones. So here's one, this is a Pac-Man one with a kind of nice blue frosted bead on it. I really like these ones because they're smaller. They have some nice microfiber on the back just like the Gondek EDC, but because they have this kind of pivot here with the lanyards on them, sometimes it'll be kind of a simple bead, sometimes it'll be, go with the theme. In this case, they obviously match the theme. You could have choose, chose the bead color and so they can match the different ghosts on here. So super cool one there. And then here's another just kind of nice bright neon colors. This one has kind of the standard bead. If, it's, if it doesn't have a kind of custom bead to match, it's going to have this bronze bead that matches this washer here, or whatever you call these. And these have a little bit more of a complex stitching than the Gondek EDC, but still relatively simple, but really like these. Again, small, the smallest of the Hanks that I get, but they're, they're very pocketable and no tag. You get the awesome Hank right here on that kind of washer, collar, whatever we're calling that. And one last one, just kind of a bonus because I thought this was pretty cool and he's done a couple of these now, is they have some with these loop panels if you want to put some Ranger eyes on there, which I thought was pretty cool as well. Just kind of another option for doing rain dries. I think so far he's only done them in different camo patterns. The other one's kind of like a gray wash camo. But really cool, like that a lot. Just something a little bit different that you don't often see on Hanks. And so these ones are a little bit pricier at $25, but they're also a little bit more premium. You got a little bit better stitching and again, this kind of washer with the beads. And so you're getting a little bit extra with those beads and lanyards and things, especially on something like this, like the Pac-Man one where you're getting a custom kind of matching bead, which I think is pretty cool. So I do like some of these smaller kind of form factors. I do have some bigger ones, but I tend to carry these ones a lot more. So the next one, I only have one from this company and it's Renegade Provision Company. And this is a collaboration with Blade HQ, it was a Knife Life one, but he does a lot of really cool different hanks on his site that aren't obviously collaborations, some are collaborations, some aren't, but a lot of really cool ones, a little bit bigger, I'm not sure the exact measurements, but a little bit bigger than the Gondek EDC, and they all have these really nice leather pouches with that Renegade, Renegade Provision Company stamped on there. Also microfiber, really kind of tight stitching, pretty similar to the awesome hank gear. But I really like this one a lot. 
like the imagery, I, this was kind of one of the early Hanks that I got when I first started getting into Hanks, which is pretty recent for me. I have a lot, but I haven't been into them that long, maybe since the beginning of this year. So I, I think I got this one in December, actually, of last year. But still, one of the early Hanks that I picked up when I started getting into Hanks and carrying Hanks on a daily basis. So those are around $25 also. So similar price point to the awesome Hank gear you're getting a little bit bigger and that leather tag, which is really nice, but you're losing out on the lanyard and bead. So kind of the trade off there. Next up, I've shown one of these on the channel before, but these are from Maniac EDC, which is mainly a patch maker, but his grandma also makes these Hanks for him. He gives the proceeds from the Hanks to his grandma and just some really cool Hanks. These ones are pretty cool designs that I picked up because, and this is the one I've shown on the channel, because uh, he came out with a series of patches, which also went to his grandma, and they kind of match the Hank, so this is the one that matches this Hank. And this has a really cool kind of green back. It's not microfiber, but it's still soft enough, and you can use it for the same things, but it is a little bit of a more coarse material than some of the other Hanks, so it's something to keep in mind. Also has a pretty cool different stitching pattern. It's kind of a more wavy and wide wide stitching pattern. All of them are going to have that Maniac EDC logo on the tag. And the second one was kind of sitting in the corner there, but is this skull one, which is his logo just minus the M, M that's on it, but also have a matching patch for this one. I thought that was really cool, just kind of having the matching patches to go with the Hanks and just kind of a fun one. These are also relatively cheap, I think around $15 for the most part, although they go on sale sometimes for about 10 bucks for some of the Hanks. has a lot of different designs, a lot of really cool designs that kind of have a similar theme as his patches, they have a similar feel for sure. So I like those a lot. They're quite large. Some of the larger ones that I have in my collection, closer to a bandana than a Hank. Obviously not as big as a bandana or as thin, but closer. And good price point, again, at 15 bucks. Back of this one, also not micro microfiber. It's just kind of a cloth material. So that's one of the only ones that aren't microfiber. Maybe the only one that's not microfiber backing, but it's still soft enough. It's not going to scratch up your phone or knife or anything like that. Next up, I didn't actually buy this one, I won this in a giveaway, but this is the Forest Tanks and Mustache one. This was from Tri-State EDC giveaway. Comes with a cool pouch. I think these are, they range in price from around 15 to 25, depending on the pattern. I'm not sure if it's just kind of his cost that he, he adds on there or what, but 15 to $25. And you can buy those over on the EDC round table. They have a bunch of other cool products too, so definitely check them out. But Forest Tanks, is kind of a similar size to the Maniac EDC, just slightly smaller as you can see. Also has this kind of, I don't know what to call the pattern, but zigzaggy stitching. It does have a microfiber backing, really soft one. It's a kind of a thicker microfiber, so really high quality microfiber backing on that. And good design. Again, a little bit bigger than I typically EDC, but still a really cool design. And that's the only one I have from Forest Tanks, but uh, definitely interested in checking out a few more of those. Next up is a really cool one actually. This is Hank's Cartel. And these I believe are around $25 as well. So a little bit on the pricier side, a little bit more complex stitching. As you can see, it's kind of a zigzaggy pattern, but double zigzaggy, I don't know. But this one, I don't remember the name of it, but it's like an alien and an astronaut eating pizza on the moon. Really cool design and another really high quality microfiber backing. It's really thick, it's hard to, kind of show that on camera, but it's a much thicker microfiber backing than any of the others. It's even a little bit thicker than the Forest Tanks one, but between the two of them, they're, they're definitely a higher quality microfiber than the others. So these are a little bit pricier. They're shipping from out of the country. Uh, these are handmade by Countess Anne, I believe it is on Instagram. And so a lot of really cool ones. Some of them are not safe for YouTube. So there's some kind of adult themed ones in there, really fun designs and really cool. I'm definitely going to pick up more. I've just kind of been hesitant to order them just because of the shipping time. I want to do kind of a bulk order and just haven't gotten around to it. But we'll definitely be ordering more of these soon because I really do like them. And then again, there's some that you can't really show on Instagram or YouTube, but they're they're pretty cool different hangs. So definitely check out them out if you're interested. And then lastly is Everyday Hank and they, they have a couple different varieties of sizes so you can choose the size it'll state it in the listing i think only two seven and nine inch but there might be others as well 
But first up is another kind of donut themed one similar to that Maniac EDC, but obviously different sprinkles, different shades. And this is the 7 inch and also has kind of some unique stitching. This one's kind of wavy, but really like subtle waves, like not not super tight like the Maniac EDC and has this kind of blue I don't know that it's actually microfiber it's a little bit softer than the front material but it's not as soft as most of the other microfibers not just these kind of two premium ones but any of the microfibers in the stack it's not quite as soft as them so not sure what that is but it might be microfiber it might just be kind of softer material but this 7 by 7 size I think is usually around 18 bucks so kind of in the middle of the price range that we see from most of these other hangs. And then she also does, and I believe the lady's name who makes these is Sherry, she also does them in a nine by nine size. And so those are around 20 bucks. This is another really cool kind of pattern and design that I like quite a bit. Again, kind of a softer material on this side, but not much softer. It's actually not even as soft as this one. So I think she kind of just chooses patterns to match the front side or complement the front side. So you got the blue on this one and this kind of smoky pattern on this one. But again, not actual microfiber, but still pretty soft. And then the stitching is a little bit different on this one. So that's something you'll see from different designs from her is that the stitching kind of goes with the the hank itself and so it'll vary a little bit in style and then obviously color of the thread so overall seven really cool brands definitely check them out definitely leave in the comments below if i missed any i tried to only include companies that are making a lot of different hanks so i have a lot of one-off hanks from different brands that they have one or two styles and they're usually pretty basic they're not releasing a bunch of different patterns of hanks and so i didn't feel like it would be helpful to include those because it's not like they have a big variety to choose from and they're probably brands that you're already aware of that are just kind of one or two hanks that complement the brand and so didn't include those but definitely let me know if i missed any major hank companies definitely want to check out others of those maybe we'll do an update video if i get enough other companies that i can add into a secondary video but hopefully people will see in the comments below if I miss them and check them out anyway without the video. But thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this series. I definitely, like I said, have planned to do several more of these over the next coming months. So let me know any feedback you have on it in the comments below. But be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And as always, hope you have a great one. Take care.